Hey guys, Derek Hillman here with Boys and Girls Club of Northeast Ohio. It is Mindful Monday. Last time we talked about vision boards and planning for your vision boards. Today for Mindful Monday, we're going to talk about empathy. To help me out, I have my kids here. They're going to tell me what they think empathy is. Then they're going to watch the videos that I provided for you guys down below. And then they're going to come back and explain what empathy is again. So I'm going to ask them what they think empathy is. So, Violet, you can go first. Do you know what empathy is? Yes. What do you think it is? X. Violet, do you know what empathy is? I don't know. You don't know. Maya, do you know what empathy is? Yes. What is empathy? Kindness. Kindness. That's a great answer. Noah, do you know what empathy is? Uh, yeah, it's being in someone else's shoes, like feeling what they're feeling, like... If someone stubbed their toe and you've done that before, you'd be like, oh, I know how you feel like done that. That's a good answer. What does empathy mean to you? Mm, to me, it means feeling things for others, especially when you don't know that feeling yourself, just to kind of be there for other people. All right, now let's watch these videos and see if it helps you get a better understanding of empathy. A few moments later. Hey guys and welcome back. So we have just watched a video about what empathy is and I want to see if it helped my kids have a greater understanding of what it means to have empathy for someone. So first I'm going to start here. Um, okay, what is empathy? Empathy is how someone else feels. Great answer. All right, now I want you to tell me what empathy is. When you can feel something that someone else feels. So if someone falls down and scrapes their elbow, and you can imagine doing that, and you can feel it yourself, that's empathy. So I have one question. If you know how someone feels when they scrape their elbow, what would that allow you to do? That would allow me to do... So here you go. Let me ask you one more question. Um, if you have empathy and someone falls and hurt themselves, do you think you would laugh at them? No. Why not? Because that would be rude. And it, when it doesn't, it's not funny when someone hurts themselves. Why wouldn't you laugh at them if they fell down using empathy? Because it, instead of laughing, picture you falling down. It hurts. And how would you feel if someone started laughing at you? You wouldn't, you wouldn't feel that happy. So if you saw someone fall down, what do you think you'd go do? I'll go see if they were okay. Great answer. What did tell me the question is before we start recording. Okay, the question is, how can empathy make you a better friend, family member, and classmate? Mm. You ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Are you going to ask the question first? Yeah. How can, how can empathy make you a better friend, family member, and classmate? Um, I'd say empathy can make you a better friend, family member, or classmate because you can understand what people are going through and it'll make you more open to hearing other people's thoughts and opinions and it'll generally make you a little bit nicer. So I think that's how. Okay, so now after watching the video, you had a good answer the first time. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you think empathy is? So... Empathy is understanding how other people feel. Like, understanding other people's emotions. So how is that helpful in real life? Let's think, think um, about your classmates. How is empathy helpful when dealing with your classmates? Oh, uh, because like if you're working in a group project, it can help when you feel what other people are feeling or maybe like getting on the same page and trying to help each other out. So say you are working on a group project and you want it to be about swimming and your partner wants it to be about gymnastics. Can you use empathy to find a solution? Uh, yes, because like you want to try to use your idea but if you use empathy you can understand that they want to use their idea as well so you might be able to like compromise something and use the other person's idea 
or combine both of your ideas? Good answer. Thank you for participating.